I'm here in Royal Palm Beach, ready to help a family who desperately need my help. So why don't you join me and take a look? Hi, we're the Naskowitz family from Royal Palm Beach, Florida. I'm Jen. And I'm Roy, and we have four children. Jordan, who's 12, Tanner, who's nine, Zachary, who's four, and Kaya, who's two. I work as a painting contractor. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I'm with the kids full-time. <laughs> Did you write on the door? It's pretty stressful, because he works a lot. It seems like when I come home, they're wigging. That's the third time. Get out of the street. <laughs> Mayhem. Kaya's biggest issue is she's got temper tantrums. Zachary's the most challenging. Zachary. Do you want to read a book? No! If Zachary's in a bad mood, then everything has to stop to pacify him. Do you want on it? Let him on it, and I'll set the timer, and then it'll be your turn. It's completely ruling the roost. With Jordan, biggest the biggest issue is... She fights with Tanner. <gasps> she almost seems to have a, a hatred. <laughs> You're not supposed to spin the chair, Zachary. Stop. Right now, there is no discipline in our house. These kids do what they want, when they want. Ah! Zachary! Ah! My way of disciplining them is... Hug them and kiss them. That's your way of doing oh, it. my Which babies! Are... Roy has a very short fuse. Stop. Ah! All you have to do is speak. You don't have to do that. That's annoying. Ah! He has no patience. You lost a four-wheeler now. He thinks when he speaks, they should jump and say how high and don't ask why. Give it back to her. I don't agree with the yelling. I don't agree with the intimidation. Come on. I don't agree with the screaming. I think that's unacceptable. How can you play if you can't see? It's Jen's way or no way. That's a sad state of affairs when a couple can't compromise with raising their kids. Roy, you're the one who usually runs around the house with them before bedtime. The one time we play for oh, two no. minutes. Oh, please. We're making it miserable to be in the house together. Got him all worked up while we're playing that game with that dog. Oh, give me a break. Yeah. It's not good for, for us. It's not good for the kids. She's going to bed at 9 o'clock. This is important for it to work. If not, we're going to end up with divorced parents. What is going on? This is what I'm talking about. When you're home, you're not home. Super Nanny, I wish you would help us because uh, 16 years I don't feel is worth just throwing in a towel over. What do you mean it wasn't bad at the supermarket? He was outside like three times. Well. Super Nanny, we really need your help. This is our last shot. Please hold on one moment. Don't sign any papers because I am on my way. What's your name? Zachary. Zachary. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Jen. Hi. Nice to meet you. Come on in. When I first met Jo, I was intimidated. When she came in with her glasses and her suit and her hair pulled back, I, I knew she meant business. And who do we have here? This is Kaya. Hi, Kaya. Pleased to meet you. Hi, this is me. I'm Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Pleased to meet you. Love your glasses. Thank you. Hello. Ooh. Hi, Tanner. Pleased to meet you. All right, all right. Let's do what you do. Okay. So the family sat down to play a game, and it became very clear to me who was calling all the shots. If Zachary loses, then the whole house is going to start to fall down. They have to let Zach win. Otherwise, who knows what he'll turn into. Gentle. Gentle. If you're not going to do it gentle, then I don't need your help. It's like a little robot. Huh, that's one word to call him. <laughs> then I got to see exactly what happens when Mum dares to give Kaya any attention. He's very jealous of her. <laughs> what? I see you. So everything I do to her, he wants me to do to him. His anger towards her is getting much worse. What do you want me to do to you? <laughs> Mum picked Zachary up, and then all was forgiven and forgotten, apart from Kaya. She'd been forgotten completely because Zachary's needs were met first. Are you tired? 
But Zach wasn't through being centre of attention. It's not just Kaya that has to tippy-toe around Zach. The other girls do as well. Girls, you guys want to go outside? OK, do it without him seeing, though. We've got to make out that it's not happening. If he sees them go, yeah. he'll want to go. Right. And yet again, she was making the older girls pander to Zachary so that he wouldn't see another temper tantrum. I mean, how ridiculous is that? When we're done eating, I'll take you outside. <laughs> I knew the second the girls went outside, Zachary would see that and want to go out. Listen. No. No. no, no. He just kept running outside. He wanted to play outside. The girls were outside, so he wanted to play outside. Come on, I'll take you out afterward. It took quite a few times for him to finally stay in the house. I was wondering, does Mum ever say no to Zach? That's not nice. And finally, when he demanded to hold a whole can of chips, did Mum then decide to put her foot down? I'm not having the whole container to spill. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Don't. And on top of it all, Zach now screams at his mum and pushes his little sister. Are you kidding me? He didn't want the bowl. I feel like that wasn't a big deal, just give him the whole container and yeah. he'll stop screaming. I want milk! He will punch and kick if he wants something himself. No! Stop! No! Stop! Right now! No! I don't know how to do it. Though. I mean, generally, as a rule of thumb, he knows to behave aggressive in order to get what he wants. But then five minutes later, he'll come up to you, you know, with his thumb in his blanket and curl up on your lap. Yeah. And so that's why I have a hard time disciplining him. It just breaks my heart to see him upset, and if I yell at him, it upsets him. Observing the Nasquitz family in Florida, I have seen a four-year-old boy defy his mother and rule roost all day long. Dad arrived home at around 6 o'clock. Hey, bud. <whistles> Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. Straight away, Dad told Mum that he needed to go on the computer to do work. I got a couple things I need to do that's really important because I'm running on deadline late, so can I have, like, 10, 15 minutes before I help you out? Jen has a real big issue with the way that Roy chooses to discipline the kids. And so I wanted to talk to Roy about it and get his take on things. She says I scare him. She said I've scared him. I grew up differently. I got my butt beat when I did stuff wrong. I had one instance with the kids when they were younger where I hit them because I lost control because of something they did. And I smacked them both. And um, ever since then, there's been a problem. She, it's, I've never been allowed to basically do anything to reprimand the kids because when I do, we fight. Just before he got here, I was I was asked to leave. She wanted out. She wanted a divorce. Yeah, and, and I was seriously contemplating it. But and I thought, no, I'm going to see how this works and figure out if I can do something different. Maybe there's something I'm not doing or whatever the case may be, I'm in. I'll do whatever it takes. OK, so you've got hope in your back pocket, OK? Uh, at this point, that's all I've got right now because I know my wife don't. Hold on to it because I'm here for a bit. I can do that. All right. And I'll let you do what you're doing over there. OK, thank you. I didn't realise how bad a situation it was until I spoke to Dad. Mum has actually asked Dad to leave the house. So whilst I'm there, if things don't get better, they could end up getting a divorce. If Joe can't help us resolve the situation, I don't think there is help. Zach, come on, not on the wall, man. Jen, please, could you stop him before he gets the chair? <sighs> Excuse me for a minute. Can I just ask you both a question? Yeah. Are you guys not talking? It pisses me off that it's 6.30. You know, you blame their behavior on me, but yet, when are you here to help? I'm the one who does it all. Maybe while I'm at work, but yeah, when I get home, I do help out. What are you angry about? His day never ends. Because now I'm just now getting involved in saying something. I didn't do nothing the minute I walked in the door. Right? That was because saying? you came home immediately and switched Watch. out and yep. said you had stuff to do. It's always something to do. And yet they run around like this, and yet you blame me for their behavior. But when are you here to help? 
You know, and half of his anger problem is because he sees your anger problem. He sees you punch things and you grab him oh, and you I, scream I wouldn't go that far because I don't do him. that. So you think that he's got anger problems because of basically watching Roy? Yeah. Zach. Well, where else did he pick it up from? Where else? Uh, maybe the shows he watches in the morning. All right, well, I don't know. That's crap. That's crap. Where's your patience? Where's your I missed you all day for the kids? It's not there. I don't criticize your job. This is my job, and all you do is criticize it. I've had it to this point. You've you had it to this point in five minutes. No, I just can't take that. I just feel like there's no discipline. I really do. I've tried being calm. You see how he gets when I grab? Do I see how he gets? Do you know this is my life every day? What do you mean, do I see how he gets? And I got a pretty good example of how these parents carry on with one another. They're angry, they're hurt. It's, it's ugly. It's really ugly. I've spent a really good day today observing your family. What I do want first thing in the morning is a family meeting. Say good night to Jojo. Night, night, Jojo. Night, night. See you tomorrow. I have seen more than enough. These kids need their parents to do their job, and they're not. These parents need a stiff talking to, and tomorrow can't come quick enough for me. The first thing that I want to talk about is Zach's behavior. Because he's got too much control. He can do too much whenever he wants to whoever he wants. Why does the whole house evolve around Zach? He's my baby. <clears throat> They're all my babies, but he's my baby. But he's a young boy who needs boundaries, who needs rules. It is your job as parents to teach him that. Let's talk about discipline. Wake up, the pair of you. You chose to raise and bring into this world four children. Then take responsibility and be accountable for it. That's the difference between us. Two different ways of trying to teach these kids, and neither one of them are working. Because there's no compromise. You're too harsh, you're too soft. OK. What about coming together? For my kids, I would do whatever I have to to change if, it, if, it's, if that's not working. Let's talk about your marriage. You spoke to me, Roy, about how you didn't want to... You don't want to throw the towel in. Why don't you want to lose your marriage? Can I want my kids to grow up having two parents? You know, that... You know what, Roy? It's all right to cry. It's OK to feel emotional right now. You've been bottling it all up. That's why you've been so angry. It's our job. So I feel like I'm failing at what I'm doing while I'm fighting with her all the time. Jim, where are you at? Uh, <clears throat> I want to believe what he says, but he said it before. So I'm hesitant to believe it. Are you both willing to work and make changes? I'm willing <clears throat> to do whatever. So am I. The three of us have got some work to do. But nothing that's impossible to change. I'm going to leave you with your thoughts. That was not pleasant. Now when you're being told, you know, what you're doing wrong and... I know how to take care of my kids. I take care of my kids on my own. I may not do it the right way, clearly, but I still do it. OK, and I agree with that. I don't know what we just got ourselves can we, into. Yeah, but can we just say, look, we've tried it our way and it hasn't Obviously worked. Obviously, my least... way doesn't work. The stakes are really high here. Unless mum and dad see eye to eye, then we could be looking at a divorce. And the kids are going to have to go through that as well. 
With things just not looking good, I stepped in with a technique straight away to get mum and dad on common ground. You both need, number one, to talk about what you haven't been able to come to agreement with so that you can compromise and then write it down here. So, let's start off. The topic is discipline. As far as, you know, the physical contact, you know, like when they do something that you don't want them to do, you jerk them by their arms. And I, I don't feel that that's appropriate. Or if you want Zachary to come with you and he doesn't want to come, you'll just jerk him and make him come. That hurts him. There's times when I have to physically get a hold of Zachy because when he goes to run or take off, if I don't grab him, he won't stop. Well, this is not what she's talking about. You and I both know this. This is what she's talking about, Roy. Come here. This is what she's talking about, that. That's what she's talking about. When you grab and you're like that, that. When Joe grabbed my arm like that, it made me realize that I was doing the same thing to my son. That really, really opened my eyes as to what was going on. And I didn't like it. I mean, I felt like this big. <laughs> it was really bad. All I can say is I won't do it again. I won't do it. I'll figure something else out. I'll figure out another way. Once I made that serious breakthrough with Dad, I was able to work with Jen and Roy with dealing with other issues that needed to be addressed. School night, kids are in bed at what time? School night? For both of them, are we going to do the same time? No, Jordan's 12 and she gets up later. It was fantastic because they compromised on everything. Zach screaming to basically how they communicated with one another and also the children's diets. They have to try take one bite of at, every at dinner. Thing. They have to try one new item. The parent pack was good. I think it opened up some communication with Roy and I. We got the, the major points that we need addressed, and now we can move forward to implementing them. Later on, Zach threw an absolute tantrum because Mum was holding Kaya and not him. Zach has been overbearing with every member of his family. And it's really about Mum teaching Zachary that it's OK for him to wait his turn. And this is what you're going to say to him. We will cuddle in a moment, but right now, Mum is cuddling Kaya. You stop crying and you listen. Sit right here next to me. Right here if next to me. If you want to, it's up to him. Mommy's right here for both of you, okay? That's just defeating the object, though. Because there are going to be times when you're just going to be with Kaya, and there are going to be times when you look what he's doing. Look, he muscles his way and pushes past her. None of this crying and nonsense, okay? Mommy's cuddling, and when she's finished, she will with you. When Zachary cries for me, it just breaks my heart. And then I can't just drop everything and just pick him up and love him is, is a horrible feeling. Sorry. Put both kids down. Tell them you're going to make dinner. <laughs> He's doing this right now because he just wants to smother you. It became emotionally too overwhelming for her, and I could see I just needed to take her into the bathroom where we could have a serious conversation and that she could really get herself together. OK, what are we crying about? What are you crying about? What is it that's what is it that's killing you? And he's upset and wants me to pick him up and I don't just pick him up. She needs to realise that as long as she continues to behave this way, things are not gonna change and there are gonna be mixed messages flying around for these young kids. What's he gonna learn from you doing that? Tell me, what's he gonna learn? If he behaves like that and every time he behaves like that, he gets love, what kind of love is he learning to get? Is that healthy love? No. You know it's not. It made me feel a little bit bad that I let it go that far. That by trying to make him happy, I was hurting him. Stick to your word. Stop babying him. Do not leave that bathroom until you're ready. See what happened? She turned around and said, no, I've got this. I know what I need to do. And out she went. When I came out, he was done. 
He got over it and he was fine. You can't cry like that, okay? Does that make Zachy sad and Mommy sad? You use your words and talk to Mommy and no screaming, okay? Mommy loves you. Mum didn't give in, and it's good because Zach has realised that he can't have every minute of Mum's attention, and Mum's realised that it's actually OK to make Zach wait for a minute. I'm glad I did it. It's going to help him. It's going to teach him, and it'll benefit him. But it was the hardest thing I've ever done, ever. Having dealt with Zachary's jealousy issues with his baby sister, it's now going to be important to make sure that he doesn't have to be and do everything his older sisters are doing. Okay. Zach actually makes the call if his older sisters can go into the swimming pool or go outside the house to play. This needs to change. So, Jordan and Tanner, are you going to go swimming in the backyard? Out Zachary. I was, like, shocked because I didn't think Zach would be able to let us go out by ourselves. So sure enough, when the sisters left, it kicked off. He was not happy. He had a fit. He cried. <laughs> Stop crying so you can hear me, OK? Listen. So Mum remained calm like I taught her to, and then we just shifted Zach's focus. We played a game. You like to play with them? Yeah. Okay, let's see what colour Joe wants to be. Right, um, I think I'll be yellow, actually. I'll be the yellow one. What one are you going to be? We started to play, and he wanted to be a part of it. You're after Mummy. You're after me, so it's your turn now. OK. okay. Mum's looking at me, she's like, I cannot believe that he's just sitting there. So help me count. Then? For him to actually accept it and be like, oh, OK, without the fight we thought we were going to get is amazing. And now we know that everybody can do their own thing and still be happy. Mm -hmm. Mum and Dad still have a major problem when it comes to disciplining Zach. So what I'm going to do is bring in the naughty chair technique, go through the steps so they will understand how to do a timeout. This is good. This is the first time I've seen you guys smile over discipline. We're in a good place. Oh, no, we're excited about it. All right. It wasn't long before Mum had to use the first step of that naughty chair technique. A warning. Zachary, if you spin the chair again, you go to time out in your naughty spot. Do you understand? And when Zach chose to ignore Mum, it was time to do the second step, and that was to put him onto the naughty chair and explain why he had to sit there. Listen to Mommy. You are in time out because Mommy said don't spin the chair. And you did not listen to me. So now Zachary has to sit in time out. Stop watch. When mommy comes back to get you, you may get up. At first he was like, well, why am I sitting here? I've never had to sit anywhere for any extended period of time when I've done something wrong. And true to form, Zach didn't give in without a fight. I knew the first time out with Zachary would be really hard, and it was. <laughs> time out are bad. This is not funny. But Mum stuck with it until Zach sat there for his full time. And she did a great job. Mommy told you, do not spin the chair. And you did not listen to Mommy, so you had to sit in time out. Now say you're sorry. Sorry. And give me a kiss and a hug. To actually see discipline work with Zach just gave me encouragement that it's going to be hard to do, but the more I do it, hopefully the more he will behave. So I taught Mum how to do discipline with Zach, and she's doing it a lot better. But there's still a trust issue between Mum and Dad. Go away and let him watch him. That's hard. Dad has said that he really wants to curb his temper, but Mum's scared that he's going to go back to being physical with the children. In order for Dad to gain Mum's trust again, he needs to sit down and listen to what Mum has to say. It's just hard after so many times of you saying, I'm going to change, and I'm like, OK, fine, one more chance, and then two days later, you're back to your normal self. Right. I wonder how you're going to handle it when, you know, two hours of putting Zachy in time out if I'm not here and the girls are at each other and she's misbehaving. You know what's at stake. Uh, exactly. Not so, only no, are, listen, so am I out of note, here, I'm taking these four kids and, that note, and you're I'm out of here. On that this note, I'm it. not letting that happen, OK? Can I just interject? 
He actually did sit at that table and admit that he was wrong. This is two-way here. I understand that trust has been broke, but if you can't see when a man's trying to make amends, then he's running around chasing his own puppy tail. Keep the door open, because your husband wants to be able to prove what he can do to change. I don't feel that I've earned Jen's trust back yet, but I know that I'm working towards that. Roy needs to prove to me that he's making an effort and see how it goes. Later on in the day, Zach pushed Kaya, and it proved to be a good point where Dad could discipline Zach and show that he could curb his temper. No, no, listen, come here. No. Okay. Put a hand, then bring him up to time out. And then I'm you, not going to chase you. Console. Listen, Hi. I'm not going to sit. Sit down. Uh, okay. No talking. Just get him. You don't need there. to talk him. Remember the steps. Okay. Get him. You take him by the hand. Okay. You bring him to the chair. Then you explain. Okay. I thought this is never going to work. There's no way he's going to listen to me. You're sitting in timeout because you pushed Kaya. <laughs> I'm going to set the timer, and when you're done, you're done. I was a nervous wreck. Usually, Roy will grab him and put him there and scream at him, and I thought, oh, this is not good. OK, just reset the timer, because he's already gone back there, OK? Place him back and reset the timer. Zach really tested Roy's patience, but I had to remind her just to stay calm and composed and play Zach straight on that naughty chair. Roy, remember, he's going to do that because he needs to see that you're going to follow through, OK? So remember, it's part and parcel of him learning. Uh, him getting up and down like exactly. that? Exactly. He's learning that, you, that you're being serious. OK. I thought that you know, doing this repeatedly like that, he was making a game out of it. So for me to say, Zach, stop, get over here right now and sit down and put him in his place to him see that I was getting angry, he picked up on the fact that I wasn't playing. He, 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 he realized that I wasn't playing. No, no Roy, he realised you weren't playing because he responded to fear. OK. I believe every person deserves the chance to change. Yeah, that's... Well, I thought I was trying to do for so long, but it just seemed like I wasn't doing it. I mean... Will you do that now? Yes, okay. absolutely. Now, yeah, OK. All right, go back. Come okay. on. Follow through with it, OK? Come down. Time. I put you in this chair because you pushed Kaya, and she got hurt. Give he needs to tell you that he's sorry for his behaviour. And give me a hug and kiss. And you give him a hug and kiss too, and he does need to apologise to Kaya. Dad certainly had some rough moments, but with my help, he stayed pretty strong. The question is, how well is he going to do when I'm gone? I'm hopeful that he finally got it, but in the back of my mind, I'm always a little unsure. Will it last? We'll see. It is time for me to go away for several days. Are they out the woods? No. There's a lot at stake here. Let's face it, we could be looking at a broken home. Divorce. Roy, I'm going to ask you to make sure that you are keeping your temper in check. I'm really nervous about trying to implement everything and do it all without Joe. If we don't, then we're just back to where we started. Bye, Kaya. Bye, Yogurt Nose. Bye, bye, bye. Zach. Say bye, Jojo. Bye, Jojo. I think we know what to do. I just hope we're strong enough to do it while she's gone. Our marriage is at stake. I hope we can do it. Keep it together. OK. All right, Bye. see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Fingers crossed that this family makes some proper choices whilst I'm gone. It has been three days since I've left this family. They had a lot at stake. I just really hope that I'm going to see improvement. So let's take a look. Mum's discipline. Nice. This is your warning. Do not hit the balloon again or you go to timeout. Do not pull on the string. If you touch her again, you are going to timeout. The next time you hit somebody, you are going to timeout. And I'm serious. There were so many warnings and no follow throughs. I guess I just give him too many warnings hoping, but I guess watching it on tape doesn't look very good at all. It's not good. 
you know, the reality is that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, solid. Zach so needs you to give him guidance and direction. I agree. Restaurant. Zachary, sit down. Come back to your chair and sit. Get on your chair. Sit back in your chair and I'll put the movie on. Are you all done set up here? Are you all done? Yes. Yeah. OK, guys, he's done eating. So finish up, because we're going to go. All right, let's get out of here before they act up. Hurry. Finish up. Hold on. Hold on. Um, no, I think that's it. Yeah. Put your... Good poor Jordan's not even finished. She was done. Did, did you not see her plate? They have to scoop and put it into a doggy bag to take out because Zach has decided that he's finished dinner. It's that pathetic yeah. that we're laughing. You might as well have done a drive-through lunch. From the first time they stand up on their chair and you say, let's sit down to eat our food, and they don't listen, that's it. You nip it in the bud. They need to know that you will deliver. Yeah, we let it go too far. I think that's out of control. Yeah. So put it right. Okay. Your time out here, Roy. Okay. Zach, come on, I need to dry you. Yeah. This is your only warning. If you do not get out, when I get you out and dry you, you have to spend the time in time out. Zach, this is your warning. Zach, you're pushing the warning. If you don't get out of the pool right now, you got to go into time out. Okay. All right, now when you come out, it's time out. Come on. See, I already see things I just did wrong right there. Don't worry. Tell me. I elevated my voice, and I warned him too many times already. Hey, Zachary, this is your warning. Give me the lid, or you're going to time out. <coughs> no one's talking to you in there. I'm telling you, he's already going. So... Good, then come out and do it. Because by now, he's forgotten what he did wrong. As soon as I get dressed, I am. Whatever. Where were you? You were changing. Probably in the bathroom. What are you changing for? You're meant to be doing the timeout, so you didn't follow I now through. realize that I didn't follow through on that. I was, I went, instead of doing it immediately, I went to go do what I needed to do to come back instead of... Deal with, with so. what's necessary. OK. You didn't do it. What do you I mean know. you're going off to change and get yourself ready? And while you're at it, you might as well have gone and got a haircut. Yeah, no, and I then was... come back and dealt with him. I mean, seriously, boy. No, I understand. No, I agree with you 100%. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at Dad's tone and Mum's tone. OK. No, we're not playing on the slide. Come here. No. I'm not going on slides. Yes! No, sorry. You can't. Come here. Oh, brave girl. Listen to me. You kicked her in the face when she jumped. You really could have hurt her. Please don't do that again. Or you will go to timeout. That's your last warning. I put you in timeout because I asked you not to hit nobody and you went and hit your sister again. Now, do you understand that when I tell you no, you're not supposed to do something? Right? OK. All right, that was very good, Roy. Okay. You didn't raise your voice. You kept your hands to yourself. You know how to do this. You should be doing this, and you should be continuing to do this. Okay. You go on the other side. I don't want to hear your mouth. Tanner, get over here. You're not going anywhere. Do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? Yes. No! Don't you go in there. Stop talking back to me. I don't need a comment for everything I say. Girls, you are 12 and 9. Act like it. Now, come on, enough. Let go of him. I don't need your help. Go sit down. It's like night and day. I want to run I for put me. that on there to show the difference. The way you spoke is the same way that you chastised Roy for talking to the kids. And yet, you can see when you get agitated yeah, no. and frustrated. No, huh? My tone's nothing like his. You better wipe that smile off your face, boy. Oh, what, you no. just heard it? I am nothing like him. Do you see how even on the slightest level of where you feel you're not even close to what I was doing, how that looked? Oh, I know. It looked okay. horrible. He just dropped the ball. And now, again, the kids are paying the price. So do we have work to do this afternoon? Absolutely. Yeah, you sure do. With Mum and Dad dealing with discipline a lot better now, it's going to be very important that they prove to themselves and each other that they can deal with discipline out in public. So uh, I've sent them off to a restaurant. Zachary, no. Please stop. Eat your lunch. Uh, is anybody going to give a warning here? He's not listening. Zach, stop doing that or I'm going to have to put some time out. This is your only warning. Jen, <gasps> why don't you follow through with the time out? It was important for Mum to do discipline. It was about time she did. That is unacceptable in the restaurant. 
So now you need to sit in timeout and think about it. He had to do his time. He knew he was in trouble. And it just felt empowering to be like, I can do this. You are not going to control me. You're three. Mum did extremely well. And just a few minutes later, Dad got his turn. Jack, this is your warning. Now, I said stop or you will go to timeout. No! Dad appropriately gave him a warning and followed through with a timeout. I learned today that I have the control, and if I do what I'm supposed to, then I control the situation. Tell me you're sorry. Dad. Come here. Give me a hug and a kiss and let's go. I don't want to do this. OK. Yet again, Dad proved that he could keep really calm and composed. And together, they're really working towards making things better. Come on, let's go. Thanks for coming in today. When I first came here, Mum and Dad were on the brink of a divorce. And now Dad had prepared a pretty important letter for her. Dear Jen, I feel as though we have become the best of friends again. I'm begging you to please help us to use all of the tools Joe has given us to help this family grow. And I'm there for you whenever you need me. Aww. That's it. Okay. Roy's letter was great. And I know he's got a great heart. And I know he really, you know, loves me, loves the kids, and wants it to work. So I want you to know that I'm not doing this just now. This is the way it's going to be from here on out. I made a pact with her, and I'm going to do whatever it takes, and that I have changed. 100%, it's not the same person. You really seem like this time you really, you want to do it. And I think that makes a difference. Do you both believe that you are learning to build back that trust again? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then we're in a good place. Yes. Yeah. I feel that the letter gave Roy an opportunity to express how he had been feeling. And I hope they realize where they can go together if they just work together. Just leaving now. Yeah. You sad to see her go? Can you say bye, Jojo? Bye bye. I have hug. Bye bye. I believe that the whole experience has given the Naskowitz family the knowledge, the experience, and the confidence now to move forward together. Bye, Zach. Bye bye. Da -da -da. I met da -da -da. Hannah. I feel like our family has changed a lot because of Joe. Jordan. Bye. Joe, thank you so much for helping our family, and we're really going to miss you. Okay. We've done a complete turnaround. At the beginning, I was pretty sad. I was taking the kids, and we were done. And um, now I don't think that anymore.